your worst enemy is yourself. Now, I know that's a bit of a cheesy saying and all that, but you'll see why I'm saying this in a second. And the reason why I say this is because if you don't allow anyone to get into your head, then how are they going to mess with you? And the reason why I say this is because there are a lot of different aspects and apparatuses that have literally just kind of been fly by night sort of things to us. And I don't blame you. I don't blame myself because we've all fallen for it. Right now, what I mean by that is this. So imagine you see an article, let's just say five, six years ago, right? You see an article that's extremely controversial, say like, oh, I don't know. Um, NASA's part of some, you know, blackmailing child pedophilia ring and things like this. And I'm giving this example because I have proof to back this up. So just bear with me here. Imagine you see this article, right? Maybe five, six years ago, and you start to look into it and this and that. Then all of a sudden, the article disappears. So you find other ways of trying to obtain this article. And you start to realize, holy crap, this article seems to have been shadow banned long before you know shadow banning and censorship was even really a thing now yes we can argue that's been going on for years now online but that's not the point so you totally ignore it you say you know what maybe i was just seeing things or whatever and that has to do with what i just said as you know you're your own worst enemy right and then a handful of years later you don't know how but you come across an article that's identical to what you recall seeing many many years ago all right and you look at that and you say holy crap this was legit now, you're going to see in a second what I mean by this. Now, I don't normally say this, guys. I know I said this once or twice last week, but it's possible this video may get banned in the future, too. I don't, I'm not going to keep saying that. I, I'm just saying that because there's certain things that may cross over with a lot of stuff that big tech is censoring. So just bear with me here. Now, before I do that, I want to give a shout out to a handful of people. Ruben Simpson, uh, Pucho Main, Baby Future, Khaled, uh, Dave Nicole in Aberdeen, Scotland, uh, Noel Malave, or Malav, sorry. Harley Capitanelli, uh, Sally at Truth Matters 777 on Instagram, check her out. Uh, Kurt, Fallon Cohen, Lucky Luciano from the Bronx. Brother, I know you're a truck driver. Thank you so much for, for doing the work that you do, especially nowadays when people need food and, you know, people are going hungry. We need people like yourself, so I thank you very much for that. As well as um, Shia Buddha. Hopefully I didn't mispronounce any of your names. Every single one of you from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to thank you so kindly. Now, let's get into it just because there's so much we have to cover here. So, Operation Main Brace. Transfusing human heads with unauthorized entities. And you're going to see how this is all going to come full circle. And you might say, you know, what is human heads and all that? What is transfusing that with other entities have to do with the example you just gave with pedophilia and things like this? You'll understand. So just bear with me. Now, first, let's take a look at the psychological warfare aspect of this. Let's take a look at the front end of, um, of main brace. So according to Wikipedia, Main Brace was the first large-scale naval, naval exercise undertaken by the newly established Allied Command Atlantic, ACLANT or Ackland, one of the two principal military commands of the North Atlant Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Now, keep NATO in mind, guys. It was part of a series of NATO exercises jointly commanded by Supreme Allied Commander Atlantic Admiral Lind D. McCormick and Supreme Allied Commander Europe General uh, Matthew B. Ridgway, U.S. Army, during the fall of 1952, end quote. Now, I want you guys to keep 1952 and NATO in mind, so let's just start with that, okay? The next thing I want to talk about mainly has to do with where Operation Main Brace occurred. A lot of it had to do with Norway. Now, why do we say Norway? Because when we take a look at the fact that in Norway, a lot of Nordic aliens tend to reside there, because aside from residing in the West, a lot of these Nordic extraterrestrials look very very similar to that of Eastern European human beings. Now, we can argue, you know, there's some type of genealogy that's been intermixed with some type of interbreeding. We could argue that the Nordics were fallen angels in the Book of Enoch and things like this, but we're not even here to discuss that. Let's just take a look at what occurred in Norway, which, by the way, NASA had a hand in even before NASA was officially founded. But anyways, I want to reference you guys to interconnectedness of faithlings or of fall things, sorry, dot com, which has to do with Donald Marshall. Now, I know Donald Marshall is very controversial, but you're going to see how all of this comes full circle here. So please keep the number 52, keep NATO in your mind and keep Donald Marshall in your mind. So let's take a look. According to Donald Marshall, and I quote, human cloning centers, Vril lizards, parasited human hosts of Vril, aka drones, the soul stone microchip and chip heads, end quote. Now, you might say, okay, oh my gosh, this is a reptilian episode and things like this. Look, guys, just bear with me because we have to take all the angles 
and we can come up with our own conclusions as to what we deem to be appropriate and what isn't appropriate. But I haven't even gone to the best part. This is why I'm a little bit riled up. So let's take a look. There are people, including innocent children, that are being molested, raped, tortured, and killed at the cloning centers. These cloning centers are located in the deep underground military bases, in DUMS. Now, we're going to get into this a little more in the Patreon-only episode, just because there's certain things that will restrict me publicly. But anyways, which is located, for example, Area 51, Dolce Base, it would be an example, and the Montauk Base, which is located in Montauk, New York. Again, Montauk Project, things like this. Now, I want to keep, I want to remind you guys of something. Do you know how many alleged underground military bases there are just within America alone having to do with cloning and things like this and using blackmail and pedophilia? 52. Let's just, that could be a coincidence, but let's just keep going. You'll see. So let's take a look here. Some cloning centers are above ground. There's an above ground cloning center somewhere in Western Canada, possibly at Thirsty Lake, which Queen Elizabeth owns. She knows where the cloning center in Canada is, and so does the former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Queen Elizabeth, Vladimir Putin, and high up Chinese people pretty much run the cloning centers. In addition, Kevin Sullivan, an ex pro wrestler, is a rich, satanic cloner with a lot of pull with the Illuminati. End quote. Now, Here's the thing. Donald Marshall is a gentleman who claims to have been, uh, you know, given access and have been, has been privy to this type of information. I'm not trying to harp on that. The point here, though, is that when you take a look at the fact that there's constant reoccurring issues having to do with child abductions. Now, I, I know I got to be careful because this intersects with a current uh, conspiracy theory that's being heavily censored online. So I know I have to be careful. But when we see real proof, not evidence, proof that justifies a lot of this, we have to question it. Now, I know I'm not, this has nothing to do with QAnon. I want to make that very clear. But let's take a look here. Human cloning, cloning centers, Vril lizards, parasited human hosts of Vril, the Soul Stone microchip and chip heads, end quote. Now, I have a source who told me that some of the stones that are used in the, in the cloning is a, stone, is a stone that looks like this. All right, the, pick, the, the stone that you saw in the thumbnail I put up. I don't know how literal this particular material may actually be, but allegedly it harnesses the ghost particle within this stone that then extracts a certain type of element that could then easily duplicate and clone children into replicating themselves into different inverted souls. Now, you might say, what are inverted souls? I got to be careful with saying that publicly. We're going to talk about that later on today in the members only episode. But the point here is this. When we take a look at Donald Marshall's letter and all this, he's not doing this for publicity. He's not doing this for anything in particular, for some type of fame. Now, I do want to say that, yes, there are a lot of reasons to doubt Donald Marshall. However, when someone like this is trying to spread the truth and they're constantly being suppressed, it only makes you think. But let's take a look, for example, at the La Terza files, all right? And this is where it's going to get interesting. So, or sorry, La Serta, my apologies. A lot of you have requested me to look into this, and so I have, and I found a ton of connections, and we're going to get to that very shortly. So, we're going to take a look here at the La Serta files. This is in December 16th, 1999. A highly respected journalist did an interview with an alleged reptilian. Okay, and it's very interesting. Here's the link, ufo.fandom.com, but there are original transcript links you can find as well on the same website, so you don't have to use just this website, but let's take a look. First of all, who are you and what are you? Are you an extraterrestrial species, or can your origin be found on this planet? The answer from this particular um, reptilian is, as you could see with your own eyes, I'm not a human being like you, and to be honest, I'm no real mammal, despite my partly mammal-like body features, which are a result of evolution. I'm a female reptile being belonging to a very old reptilian race. We are the native Terrans and we live on the planet since millions of years. We are mentioned in your religious writings like your Christian Bible and many of the ancient human tribes were aware of our presence and worshipped us as gods. For example, the Egyptians and the Inca and many other old tribes. Your Christian religion may have misunderstood your, our role in your creation, so we are mentioned as evil serpents in your writings. This is wrong. Your race was genetically engineered by aliens and we were just the more or less passive visitors of this accelerated evolution process. You must know, some of your scientists have already supposed this, that your species had evolved in a naturally completely impossible speed within just two to three million years. This is absolutely impossible because evolution is much slower process if it's natural, but you have not understood this. Your creation was artificial and done by genetic engineering. End quote. Now, here's the thing. I want to make this very clear. Just because an alleged reptilian said this doesn't mean this is true. But I also want to make something very clear as well. Do you know how many times in the Christian Bible these reptilian people are mentioned? 52 times. 
You think that's a coincidence again. So we see Operation Main Brace took place in 1952. We have the reoccurrence of this of 52 times. And we have other connections to the number 52. But that could be a coincidence. But bear with me here. We're still going. So let's take a look here. Quest uh, the journalist says, can you tell me your name? And then the reptilian says, this is difficult because your human tongue is not able to pronounce it correctly. And this, this, and that. Long story short. You guys can end quote. You know what? You guys can keep reading this on your own. It's just because there's only so much time I have here. But the point is this. Do you know this journalist was murdered shortly after this in interview because there was a scheduled interview with this particular reptilian again? Do you know how many cuts were found on this journalist's body? 52. Now, look, I don't have the answer to what this connection of the number 52 really means. I'm just trying to make the connections as presented, right? And we can justify the evidence down the road in a more psychological and intellectual manner. However, let's take a look at this, for example. This is the part I wanted to talk to you guys about the most. Let's take a look at dailymail.co.uk. Guys, this is the Daily Mail, and I'm sorry if I'm a little riled up here, but this is what... Honestly, if this video gets removed, I'm going to be a little bit ticked off because I am not quoting a random website, a random blogger, an eyewitness, a document. This is the Daily Mail. All right. Let's take a look here. And I quote, and this is why I have so much confidence to say this publicly, exclusive NASA employees caught buying child porn from site which showed three-year-olds being abused but they escaped prosecution and now their names are being kept secret staff were have found to have purchased illegal images while at the agency were brought from belarus and ukraine using credit cards and paypal you know where else they were brought from norway now i'm not trying to connect the nordic aliens to this i'm not saying they have a hand in this but we have to be aware and vigilant of the multiple intelligence operations that occur now these children allegedly and you're going to see why are being used Used through ICE, Immigration Customs Enforcement, okay, which ICE has been known to have a very indirect connection with the White House. What does that mean? That basically means that ICE has been known, and ICE is a legitimate agency. They've been known to, uh, especially recently, to have the whole, you know, children's in cages thing, kids in cages. I'm not trying to get political, but they've been known to not take orders from the White House, regardless of which administration was in play. Obama, Bush, Clinton, Trump, Biden now. They've been known to not take orders. If they're not taking orders, you don't think the White House would have looked into that? Who's really pulling the strings here on ICE? Now, ICE has alleged connections to Israel, and Israel, deep through the bloodline, has deep connections with the Queen. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way. I'm just saying we got to make the connections where we see it. Now, the Queen allegedly is using the same children from that are recruited from ICE that are never seen again, you know, the ones separated from the families, and, and bringing them to these cloning centers, according to Donald Marshall. Why else do we know this to be the case? I'll get back to this NASA article in a second, by the way. Let's take a look here at cloneaid.com. Very simple. I'd like to thank, I forgot who sent this to me, but I know that somebody did. So I want to thank you guys very much for that. Um, take a look at this. This is, you have to use the Wayback Machine to check this out. But you see, I'm putting it up on the screen for those on YouTube. Clonade. Clonade is a project name. The company name under which we operate is different and is not revealed for obvious security reasons as to protect the safety of its employees and customers. You see this website right here? Do you know how many locations they allegedly had if you check the Wayback Machine? They say on their site, 52. You think it's a coincidence that there's 52 dumb bases experimenting with this? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Now, let's go back to this NASA article and let's take a look here. An investigation by Daily Mail Online, and I quote, found staff members from the space agency paid for pictures and videos of children in sexual situations but were never prosecuted. Their names have never been released because of government guidelines which protect their privacy. The probe found that in 2010, the employees paid for the pornography using, okay, blah, blah, blah. Their actions were uncovered during Project Flickr, an investigation by the FBI and immigration and customs enforcement um, and customs enforcement which is ice into American citizens buying child pornography from Belarus and Ukraine and quote the original copy before this article was uh, um, re uh, revised if you will because you'll see that it was revised also mentioned Norway you think it's a coincidence there it honestly could be or it might not be but what we're seeing here guys is we're seeing a similar situation to Jeffrey Epstein the FBI opens an investigation then all of a sudden they're told no, just shut it down. And can I be honest with you guys? I have to tell you the truth. I can honestly question the validity of all of this just based off of this article alone. We can literally end the episode right here and right now and just go, NASA, what is this? If we get NASA in court 
for on a Freedom of Information Act or something like this. The names are going to be redacted. And you know what's going to happen? Your Honor, we misplaced the files. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, guys, honestly. Now, you might say, Dave, what does this have to do with the reptilians and things like this? Just like with everything else in life, guys, we cannot label the reptilians as purely evil. We cannot le label the greys as purely evil. What we have to do is we have to take a step back and we have to look and understand there are different factions, okay? Now, here's another aspect that's kind of like a... Pardon my English here, a mind fuck, if you will, in the sense of trying to play double or multiple or even four dimensional chess against human society. And I'd like to thank my friend Conrad, uh, who mentioned this to me as well, who brought this up with fantastic point, because I, I can't take the credit. There are certain things that I do miss. Um, I got to be honest, um, just because I'm always sifting through so much information. But the point here is this. When we take a look at Donald Marshall's letter here, the original transcript, and I'm putting it up on screen right now, according to donaldmarshall.proboards.com, okay, what we're going to see here is that he references multiple things having to do with different species having different factions and the reptilians infiltrating the military and things like this. There are different agendas. Again, we have to define good and bad. Are they self-serving? Are they not, right? But the thing that Conrad brought up to me is very interesting. You notice very recently, guys, we've been studying a lot of different documents pertaining to different alien races, the Nordics, the reptilians, the greys, some factions being fascist-based in terms of their leaderships, other factions being a little more democratic, if you will, sort of like, you know, the group has a vote or things like this, whether it's the Nordics, the greys, the reptilians, you know, you name it, the, the Syrians, the Pleiadians. My friend Conrad brought this up, and I appreciate you very much, my friend. Do you think th that the U.S. government is leaking this on purpose in terms of the way in which they function in order to justify continuing the way in which our minds perceive all of this? In order for us to go, hey, you know what? If the Nordics, according to this document, this U.S. government document or any government country document, if the Nordics are a fascist-based race or a species or group, or if they're democratic then we should continue like that because if they're more advanced than us, then we should do that, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I do have to admit when I'm wrong. And I think I've fallen for that myself too. I'll tell you guys the truth. Um, and when I thank my friend Conrad for this, just like I thank all of you that send me this type of information, we're going to see this is clearly the case, right? So let's go back very quickly to the NASA. Impl By the way, that CloneAid website, very shady website. It was up, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, from 2006 to 2009. All right, then all of a sudden it disappeared. Very similar to, you know, how these companies come out. We have the cure for cancer. All of a sudden they're bought up by a CIA front company. Then boom, they're gone, right? We don't know. So let's take a look here. The investigation began in 2007, and I quote, when more than 33,000 images of minors being abused flooded into the countries, uh, flooded into the country. It was revealed in 2010 that 264 of these worked for the Pentagon as either employees or contractors. Some of them worked for the NSA and had top security clearance. But the Daily Mail Online can reveal for the first time that NASA employees were also identified in the sickening scheme in the same year. However, their names have been redacted in documents obtained by Daily Mail Online via a Freedom of Information Act request from NASA's Office of Inspector General. End quote. Now, here's the interesting thing. If we take a look here, there were allegedly 52 employees. But then this article suddenly got edited, and then there were only 16. The number 52 keeps popping up. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, let's take a look at all of this here. Does this not remind you of many different forms of cover-ups? Now, let's be honest here. We can't necessarily say this is a good thing because we're talking about children being abused against their will, all right? But when we look at this, and again, I'm going to be pissed if this video gets taken down because this is the article, by the way, and it took me forever to find this. this I would argue, at least in the West, this, ar this article shadow banned. When we look at all of this, this was before things you know, were politically correct and people like Epstein could still get away with this kind of stuff, right? But let's take a step back and just think. Nobody's been punished for this. Are they still working at NASA? The hell's going on here, right? Just off of this article alone. I could say, what the hell's happening here? And then the connections we make to Operation Main Brace on the front end, the reptilians, all these different, you know, Norway, the Nordics. Now, we also have to be vigilant and understand there could be an intelligence angle to this because, again, former CIA employees have pled the fifth when they've been asked on whether or not the CIA uses child, um, you know, um, child raping as a form of blackmail to gain an advantage over other countries, maybe even other alien races right? So I want you guys to let me know what you think. I know this very interesting episode and we'll catch you guys either this afternoon for the members or tomorrow. Cheers.